Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we are going to discuss the following question and the question says that construct the table of values for the equation y is equal to x square minus 4x minus 5 on graphing calculator and find the x and y intercepts. Let us start with the solution of the given question. Here we have to construct table of values for the equation y is equal to x square minus 4x minus 5 on graphing calculator. Let us type the equation. For this we press y is equal to key. Then the following screen will be displayed. Now we type x square minus 4x minus 5 into y1 and we will get this display on the screen. Now let us see its table. Now see table is written above graph key so we press second key followed by table key. We get the following table on the screen. Here we see that the values of x start from 0 then 1, 2, 3 that is the values have an increment of 1. Also the corresponding y values are displayed automatically. To see more values we will just scroll down. Now we shall find its x and y intercepts. Let us view its graph on the calculator. Now to view its graph we press graph key. We get the following graph. Here we see that its curve intersects x-axis at two points and y-axis at one point. So there is one y-intercept and two x-intercepts. Let us again move to table. For this we press second key followed by table key. Then we get this table. For y-intercept, we see the value in table where x coordinate is 0. See here, for x is equal to 0, y is equal to minus 5. So, the ordered pair 0 minus 5 is y-intercept. Now to find x-intercept, we see those values of x where y-coordinate is 0. We scroll down and we see here at x is equal to 5, y is equal to 0. So, one x-intercept is the ordered pair 5-0. For other x-intercept, we scroll up here. For x is equal to minus 1, we have y is equal to 0. So, other x-intercept is given by the ordered pair minus 1, 0. Thus, x-intercepts are given by the ordered pairs minus 1, 0 and 5, 0. Also, y-intercept is given by the ordered pair 0 minus 5. This is the required answer. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.